And we're back. Hello. Curio cabinets packed in, uh, packed with inbox wrestling action figures line the walls, aligned with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable. A giant wild, uh, widescreen TV sits in a decked out media stand. I'm speechless. I look over at Hugo, who is hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid eye contact. <laughs> He goes a little embarrassed. I don't know. It's, uh... This is really embarrassing. This is the coolest thing I've seen, ever seen, or, uh, wow. Or, not a lot of people have seen this, huh? No. <laughs> let's go not with the coolest. The last one. Yeah, this is the coolest thing no, I've ever no, seen? this yeah. is pretty cool. Okay. Ooh. Hey, plants! Are you kidding? Look at all this stuff. This must have taken you forever to collect. Can I touch this? Yes, you can touch this. Go ahead. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulders. I wasn't talking about my belt. Do you smell what the daddy is cooking? I think the line is... It's meatballs. Uh... Sorry, I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's so cool how passionate you are about this. Ah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, um, I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Who's Ernest? Hugo, you brought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. I think Sarah should be Ernest. Looks like Ernest just got home. He's yelling, uh, he's yelling in the hallway. Or in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. <sighs> I told you those pizza rolls have less sodium. I just want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes into Hugo's wrestling room, <laughs> looks around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. He looks so much like, uh, like what's his face, the little fish from, uh, not regular show, but, uh, oh god, what is the Cartoon Network show with the cat and the fish? Oh, um, Oh, God. The Water Sins. I yeah, The Water but, Sins. Um, what the fuck is the show? Gumball. Gumball. Yeah, The Amazing World of Gumball. He looks so much like his brother. I thought nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. I just said that you're not allowed to take <laughs> the action figures out of their boxes oh, shit. and pose them so they're having sex with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest gets flustered. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna go <laughs> throw eggs at stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Ernest leaves, then a moment later pops his head back in the room. Wow. And your stupid friend. Ernest storms back out of the room. I hear a door slam. Hugo warily runs his hand through his hair. <sighs> <sighs> sorry about him, and sorry that I have to keep apologizing about him. He just, he's just going through a phase, I guess. Hmm. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has a thing against authority figures, and you don't get much more authoritative than a teacher dad. <laughs> My ex... Ooh. He gets to be the fun weekend dad, and oh, I'm just shit. Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. Who's Get his ex? personal. Yeah, who's I his like ex? I like it. All right, all right. Maybe Conspiracy we'll never know. theory. Who's his ex? Oh. It might not be cold to sack do, dad. Wait, do you know stuff? I don't. I don't actually know. I legitimately don't know what, uh, all right. what's going on here. All right. Um, it would seem fake to put off if I had any prior knowledge. And I told you previously if I had prior knowledge to any of this happening. I don't know who did it, Hugo. I, I would assume maybe Bad Dad, but I don't I, know for sure. Don't, don't Again, the last that. time I looked up information on this game was July. I don't think Ernest so, has a second dad within this cul de sac. Yeah. Okay, so maybe someone else? Maybe outside. Okay. Hey, you love him and you're looking out for his best interest. Take it from one dad to another. Someday they'll come to appreciate you. Maybe not someday soon, but someday. I hope so. Ah. Thanks for letting me vent. Hugh glances at his watch. Ah. Suppose it's getting kind of late. Aww. Let's do trivia again sometime soon. 
I would absolutely love to. Can't I stay the night? I start to leave. And hey, thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff. Maybe you can tell me some uh, more about it next time. Hugo smiles. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. I'll catch you around. Oh, uh, it only takes a minute but to walk back home. A man is sitting in the couch, or sitting on the couch, reading a book about female photographers. I really wanted a kiss at the end of that date. It's only date oh, one. Well. It's only date one, Sarah. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. Mm -hmm. I don't. This book is all pictures. <laughs> and even then, my patience is being tried. Ugh. Did you get to eat all the cheese your little heart desired? I'm happy, you little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Who wants breakfast for dinner? <laughs> Hash browns! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Toast dipped in eggs! Our... Blueberry pancakes! Well, only if you'll help me make that. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I've got some more. Maybe I don't. Never uh, mind. They're okay. gone. <laughs> you know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler? And also totally amazing at heating up maple syrup in the microwave. What does she mean by sprinkler? Just sprinkle on them blueberries. Uh -huh. Also, I get my line skipped, so thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Fuck it, Amanda. <laughs> Man and I spend the evening cooking and elaborate uh, an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave out the parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figured she would probably find some nefarious way to use that information for a better grade. Mmm, so get a cry if you're feeling sad. That's it, number 69. Uh, B? Probably B. Wow, we're I'm super. We're too super solid dads. About that. Yeah, but wait, we're good. All right. Fuck it. Welcome. You got that. We're going for Hugo, right? Wow. Yeah. Bam. Let's complete this. Journey. We're at two out of three right here. You know what? Just two out of three though. We'll we'll make a save, just in case. Save. There we go. We don't want to mess anything up. Bam. Are you uh? You know what they say about third third dates that you're pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream daddy? Hell yeah. Fairy Cat said that we should uh, Hugo is the dreamiest of daddies. Yeah. Dad said number 36. It's, it's Trust no Jen. one. Also, eat a lot of broccoli. Yes, Hugo is apparently male me. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that one out later tonight. No. Ever since the first night at Char Charcuties? Charcutie Pies. Charcutie Pies. <laughs> You and I have made a point out of weekly visits to Trivia Night. Havarti like it's 1999 came first and uh, has come in first place ever since. Despite Provolone 2 lost in New York's continual efforts to dethrone us. I've been able to do a complete overhaul of the interior of my car thanks to all of the Phil's I don't care gift cards we've received. Air fresheners, car chargers, you name it. Man is riding in the lap of luxury. All right. Aside from the trivial night, uh, trivia nights, I don't actually get to see Hugo a lot. The end of the school year is coming up, and he seems to be having a lot of trouble dealing with the stress of teaching. I should do something nice for him. Maybe help him take his mind off of screaming teenagers? Screaming daddies. <laughs> books. He likes books. But I would have no idea where to even start with that. He probably reads more books in a month than I've read in the past year. I know he's really into wrestling, but he's been reluctant to talk about it since he showed me his wrestling room. I know he's kind of shy about it, but maybe. Whatever. Let's roll the dice. I think I have a plan. Oh shit! Quizmaster Quiz! <laughs> Hey, hey, all right, folks. Looks like we finally have the points tallied and we're ready to announce our winner. You know who else is a winner? Me, because I've finally just seen how beautiful and loving my wife is. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks ago, all the regular stage and intervention for uh, Quizmaster Quinn, we sat down in a circle and told him what we wanted to see him be better. Uh, that we wanted to see him be better. 
and love himself. <laughs> He agreed to start going to couples therapy with his wife, and last time he told us that they adopted a dog together. Okay, I'll love you forever, <laughs> Quizmaster Queen. I can't tell you which version of Quizmaster Queen I prefer. Uh, there were things I liked to dislike about both, huh? And the winner is, for the fourth week in a row, Habardi Like is 1999. Oh! Oh, Hugo and I cheers are small slices of cam cambert? Cam camembert? Uh, I don't know that cam one. Camember? Camembert? Never no, 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 no. And I go up to accept our gift card along with a uh, uncomfortably long hug from Quizmaster Crow. Hug. Don't, don't, hug. Don't, don't touch me. Hug. Don't, don't, don't touch me. You'd love it, you um, know it. I'm Hugo, so don't touch me. <laughs> May Havarti like his 1999 reign be as long and wonderful as my marriage to my beautiful wife. Uh, oh, as a temporary nice. fix. We make our celebratory round of high fives to the rest of the team. And sit down to finish our <laughs> cheese board. <laughs> Savoring every last bit of burrata, burrata with pesto and slices of tomato. Tomato? Tomato. Fuck it. Hey. I got a surprise for you. Hmm. Me? Yeah, and it's for once it isn't more hey. cheese. Well, if you think you can somehow top that, be my guest. Pull out a book and I uh, that I've been carefully hiding in one of my pockets and slide it over to Hugo. Um. Hugo. Oh, what is it? What is it? Hugo picks up the book and reads the title aloud. Oh. Harry Bites, <laughs> Crapper Keeper. <laughs> What the oh, fuck is that? Oh no! Okay. I wanted to get you a book, but I figured you probably already own every classical piece of literature, so I, uh. I thought this would be fun. For when you're pooping. Ah. <laughs> Hugo laughs. You should flip through it. Hugo looks up at me and raises an eyebrow. After flipping through a couple pages, he finally comes across a small gift I strategically hid inside. Oh, you're kidding me. Hugo looks around, worried that he made a scene. He leans oh, in. You're kidding me. Hugo pulls out the wrestling tickets I hid inside the crap. Nice. Oh my god. This is to the World Federation of Wrestling's Power Slam series. It's so smooth. You've been working so hard lately. I, I thought you'd like them. Like them? Oh. I, I love this. Thank you. But wait, there's two. Yeah, I figured we could go together. What? You'd, you'd go with me? Heck yeah. I'd need you to explain the finer points of wrestling to me, though. So, Hugh gets up, walking around the table, and effortlessly picks me up in a big bear hug. Oh, bear hug! Has <laughs> been has he been the strong the entire time? Mm. Thus explains my infatuation with muscles. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Let a little squeeze. I'm so happy <laughs> to sort of say you're welcome. <laughs> It's the night of the power slam. Hugo shows up on my doorstep in a loud, oversized wrestling tee. Power slam! He's a little blushy and extremely cute. The cutest. <laughs> we drive about an hour to another city for the big event. Hugo spends the entire ride teaching me the basics of wrestling and the terminology I need to know. So, it's... It's fake, right? Hmm. Well, yes and no. While wrestling and the act of hurting another wrestler is fake, the work requires remarkable, remarkable athleticism and oftentimes results in actual injury. Those people are getting hurt, sure, but not in the way we are led to believe. Historically, wrestling as we know it today was created by carnival workers to fix gambling, and the people who actually believed it to be real and would bet on these matches were called marks. That we know that it's technically fake, but still choose to suspend our disbelief makes us smarks. <laughs> Smart marks. 
So, I should be watching this for the acrobatics? Hmm? And the tension, and the drama, and even the storylines. I think that anything or anyone can tell a good story. You just have to look for the story. Even sometimes, like what we're about to experience, will be tell a phenomenal, sometimes understand a story despite a ridiculous premise. Wow. Hmm. What? I just really wouldn't have pegged you for a huge wrestling fan. Eh. Nobody does. I get it. I'm the button-down teacher type. I like poetry, art, history. I write disseration, disserations on... Disser dissertations. Thank you. <laughs> dissertations on heavy tomes by Russian authors for, authors for fun. But I like wrestling. It's a big part of who I am because it's considered kind of lowbrow. I feel like I, can, I can't share with anyone because they'll just make fun of me. Till now, <laughs> Hugo smiles to himself. Hey. Till now. Ah. Oh. Hugo and I enter the stadium and are directed to the upper level. Why is after, the stadium empty? Oh. It's got After fill grabbing up. some snacks, we make our way up to the set of stairs. The further up we go, the more my heart sinks. I had thought we had gotten good seats, oh. but by this uh, by this point, the ring looks like a postage stamp. We finally settle into our spots and wait for the night match to start. Uh, I'm sorry, I, th I thought I got his tickets on the lower level. Uh. Look over to Hugo, who apparently didn't even hear me. He's vibrating. Oh. This is so cool. I guess he doesn't mind. I have to admit, I've been too embarrassed to come to one of these since I was a kid. This is what? the first one! <laughs> What's there to be embarrassed about? Everyone here loves wrestling. Plus, who are we even going to see that we know? I mean, there's like an hour out of Maple Bay. Oh. I guess you're right. So what do you have to look forward to tonight? Oh. Oh man, the lineup is stacked. All the matches are going to be great, but the one I'm really looking forward to is the Eastern Dragons match. The Eastern Dragon? Yeah, he used to wrestle as Pablo Esco Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good! <laughs> As you may notice on my shirt, I am a bit of a fan, but I guess he eventually had to change it. Oh. Wrestler names are weird. He's actually an Iranian guy from Utah. <laughs> oh, so that's what your shirt's from. He's a <laughs> Chris has lost it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> My cheeks oh. hurt. <laughs> yep, I've been following that guy since his debut as an indie wrestling league. And it's been amazing to see him rise to the ranks and into the professionals. <laughs> Who's he up against? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be okay, Daddy? No, I won't. It seems so you've been moved to tears. <laughs> <laughs> but he's up against the corporate shrill. <laughs> Technique wise, I don't think he's that good of a wrestler. And I don't even think that the fans like him. <laughs> Certainly. An interesting character, though. It's fucking <laughs> Oh. This thing this him lights them and the crowd starts screaming. Butt rock blasts through the sound system and some pyrotechnics set off around the ring. What is butt rock? I have no idea. Pablo <laughs> Escobar is the most amazing thing I've ever fucking known for the longest time. <laughs> How about an announcer, though? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the sold out crowd in Mills Creek, Massachusetts. There you go, fairy. <laughs> there you go, fairy. It's Massachusetts. Who's ready to power slam? Hugo and I scream. Watch two wrestlers, the Southern Dandy and Johnny Snowman, 
Oh god. Walk out to even more butt rock. What is butt rock? The Southern Dandy mixes and drinks a mint julep in uh, in the ring before the match. The crowd eats it up. I like oh. a mint julep. The Southern Dandy's from Maine. Oh, is it Maine versus Massachusetts? <gasps> oh dun, shit! Dun, dun. Was Fairy Cat right? She was. Or yes, she oh. was. Is Johnny Snowman not from the North Pole? <laughs> He's from Georgia, actually. <laughs> oh, fucking There's Georgia. No Ooh. After a long match, Johnny Snowman, who dresses up like a muscular elf, does what Hugo calls a German suplex, suplex on the Southern Dandy. That sounds super dirty. <laughs> yeah. I think, ladies, we're going to have to figure this one out oh. next time. What? Did I just watch? Or, I don't know what's happening, but this is amazing. Or, <laughs> kill him, Johnny! Which one? Well, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. next time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Beep. Mm, that, boop. Oh. Pablo Escobar. That. <laughs> That's the most amazing thing ever. Yeah. Game Grumps, you guys. All right. That is that is fucking phenomenal. If I ever That's... need to put you into a fit of laughter. <laughs> Pablo Escobar is the way to go. It was, just, it was just so out of nowhere. It was on his shirt the whole time and we never noticed I it. Did.